Hey friends and welcome back. This DIY is well overdue. Today I'm doing DIY farmhouse books. So I bought all three of these books at the Dollar Tree and I just took the book covers off of all of them. And I went ahead and I measured my smallest book to see what size it was. So I knew how big to make my vinyl stickers that I'm gonna put on it. And then I'm just going to use chalk paint to paint the covers of these books. So for the spine, I put kind of a thick layer and really painted the spine and went down into the creases on both sides of the spine. But for the rest of the book, I kind of wanted more of a distressed look. So I let the colors kind of peek through a bit on all of the books and I only did one coat on each book. I thought that maybe I would go back and do two coats on each spine, but I didn't even do that. The, this kind of look worked for me. If you want a thicker look or if you want to paint the whole book, it's your project, so make it how you love it. I have seen these all over Facebook with different sayings on them like home sweet home or family names so it was really hard for me to decide what I wanted on the books and that's why it's taking me so long to get this DIY together. And again with this red book I just put a thicker coat on the spine and just kind of dry brushed on it so that red still was peeking through and I did the exact same thing for my blue book. I am using my Silhouette Cameo to make my vinyl decals for the sides of my book. I'm using the font My Underwood because I thought it kind of looked like a stamp. Um, you could also use a stamp to stamp your saying onto your books or you could write the saying on your books. I just decided to go with my vinyl cutter but I did do something a little bit different. So instead of using transfer paper and transferring over the words, I decided to place each letter by hand. That way it didn't look super perfect. I did notice that you could see this side of the book, so I probably should have took some chalk paint and painted those edges on the insides of the book as well. So if that bothers you, make sure you do do that step. I decided that I was kind of okay with it, so I just went ahead with placing my letters. And I'm going to start with the last letter of the word and work my way backwards. So here I am just pulling that E off and I'm going to place that along the bottom of my book. And I decided to kind of layer my books from the smallest to the largest on the bottom, but really kind of play around with what books you want to layer your order in. It was fairly easy to pull my letters off and reposition them since I wasn't kind of pressing them down very hard, but also it is chalk paint so it will lift if you're lifting your letters a whole lot so you have a little bit of room to play around, which is always nice <laughs> when you're doing a DIY. For the next book, I just laid the first book on top of it so I could kind of follow the spacing that I already did with the book above it. And if there's any tricky letters, this M was a little bit tricky, I just used some tweezers to pull that letter and then place it onto my book. And I did the exact same thing with the last book. So I just lined the letters up just like the books above it. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. So after you get your words on the spines of your books, you can really kind of play around and decorate it however you want. I decided to use this twine that's also from the Dollar Tree and just wrap my books in this twine with a little bit of a bow.
I made an even bigger bow with the twine by wrapping it around my fingers a couple of times and then knotting it in the middle with another piece of twine and then just tying that fuller bow onto the top of the book. And the last thing I added was just some greenery. So I took this bouquet that's also from the Dollar Tree and I popped off one of the flowers so I could then pop the leaves off of the stem. And then I just tucked the greenery underneath that bow. Again, all of this is completely optional. You can decorate your books however you see fit. I also thought about maybe putting one of the sunflowers on top of the bow too and I might do that again later I don't know switch out the flower for the season but I just absolutely love how this turned out I stuck this on our entryway table for now and I just I just love it I'm so obsessed with it I don't know why it took so long to make it <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys as always you can find more from us here Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what would you put on the spines of your books. Thanks guys. Bye.